Good morning, and welcome to VNN, Viking News Network, your source for Scandinavian and Norse news. I'm your host, Billy B. Williamson. Today, we're going to be looking at the countdown clock. It'll be 38 hours and 52 minutes until we're back on the air again. But first, before we start the broadcast, a word from our sponsors, Mita-Cola, The Drink of Earls, and Vikingsonly.com. You don't have to be lonely at Vikingsonly.com. Love that jingle. All right, now let's get started. Enter the promo code on the screen to get the Earl level VIP upgrade package on vikingsonly.com. You get 50% off their Earl package. You can see twice as many profiles from twice as many nations. It's a really great program. I have it on my phone, so does my wife. All right, now we're gonna get started with the news. In the news today, an exploring party led by Leif Erikson, son of the famed Eric the Red, made landfall in a new place they call Vinland. This moment is sure to be remembered in history forever, never forgotten, and certainly not pushed under the rug or recredited to some arrogant slave-trading Italian. All right. We have breaking news coming in now. Live on the scene, we have Johan Perpetuatius Peterson. What do you have for us, Johan? Thanks, Bill. We've got a battle out here. Two Vikings are mad at each other because one stole the other one's gold. Wow. That's a really interesting story, Johan. You do realize that the people you're reporting to have lives, because it's clear now that you don't. Are you aware that human beings have feelings, Bill? Or is that why your wife left you? Don't you bring Ethelberg into this! Oh, I'm bringing Ethelberg into this. I'm bringing her into this, son. Like the son you never had because your wife left you. You didn't scan that already. At least my kids would have actually died in battle, and not like yours. From a head cold! I, I, I will text you back with the retort, but it will be about your ex-wife. Back to you, Bill. Hey, Johan, you want to hear a joke? My ex-wives still miss me, but their aim is getting better. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break, hear from our sponsors, and then we'll be right back on the air. Mita Cola, the drink of Earls. And now to the news. Recently, some Vikings over in England raided a city in Mercia. We go live now to Johan Propetuus Peterson on the scene. What do you have for us, Johan? Well, today it looks like a lot of raiding has been going on. The Vikings, they, uh, they killed everybody. It was like 30,000, no, more like 300 million. There were also snakes. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, Vikings are now on their way towards Wessex to murder King Alfred. Wow, Johan, that's pretty crazy stuff. You sure Alfred's not gonna, like, pay them off or something? And, I mean, maybe he'll be made King of England and the Vikings will fall under his rule. No, the Vikings would never settle in an Englishman's land. No subject as Odin would ever get baptized, unlike you, you missionary. Johan? I'd like to point out to all our viewers who see themselves as true Scandinavians that you wore a horned helmet to the solstice party last year. <clears throat> and everyone knows that Vikings don't wear horns on their helmets. Well, at least I didn't spare the lives of ten monks at Lindisfarne Abbey. They were nuns, Johan. They were nuns. Who cares? You didn't even take their gold. Back to you, Bill.